நண்பர்கள் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் திஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் இஸ் பிராட் டு யூ பை குருஜி டிவி திஸ் யூடியூப் வீடியோ இஸ் அ டிரான்ஸ்லேஷன் ஆஃப் த டாமல் வீடியோ ஆஃப் அவர் ரெனவுண்ட் அஸ்ட்ராலஜர் ஜோதிஷ் மகாகுரு அதித்ய குருஜி த லிங்க் ஆஃப் த ஒரிஜினல் வெர்ஷன் தட் இஸ் த டாமல் வீடியோ இஸ் கிவன் இன் த டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் பாக்ஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் வீடியோ திஸ் இஸ் அஸ்ட்ராலஜர் தீபா அண்ட் ஐ எம் பிரசென்டிங் யூ த இங்கிலீஷ் வெர்ஷன் ஆஃப் த டாமல் வீடியோ Today I'm going to explain the natal chart of a very important person. Let me tell you what inspired me to explain this natal chart. It is a comment of one of my followers that really inspired me to explain this natal chart. It is Mr. Kannadasan MS who had given the comment and it is as follows. Sir, so far you have explained the natal charts of Mr. Sujata and Mr. Prabhagaran. In a similar fashion, can you please explain the horoscope of Osho? He has mentioned the videos where I explained the natal charts of the great writer, a Tamil writer, Mr. Sujata and the leader of Liberation Tigers of Tamil Eeram, LTTE, Mr. Prabhagaran. He has requested me to explain the horoscope of Osho. He has also given the birth details. Osho was born on 11-12-1931 at 5.15 p.m. at Kachwada, Madhya Pradesh. He also assures that the birth details are correct. He has also added in his comment that in the natal chart of Osho, Sagittarius is highly Pabhatwa. He wonders how Bhagavan Osho became the world renowned spiritual master while in his natal chart Sagittarius was highly Pabhatwa. Kannadasan MS is wondering what made Mr. Rajneesh, Bhagavan Osho, a world-renowned spiritual master, while Sagittarius house in his natal chart is highly Pabhatwa. He also added certain points in his comment. He finds some affinities with the natal chart of Bhagavan Osho and Rajiv Gandhi, the ex-Prime Minister of India, as there are five planets in in the house in both the natal charts of mr rajiv gandhi and mr rajneesh well let us display the natal chart of osho and let me explain the natal chart of mr osho kannadasan ms wonders how osho became such a great spiritual master who was very well known across the world was very famous across the world while the sagittarius house is highly pabhatwa in his natal chart he also added in his comment the comparison of natal charts of mr rajiv gandhi ex prime minister of india and bhagwan osho i have written a lot about the natal chart of mr rajiv gandhi in my articles but people have less reading habits it seems they haven't read those Many people had not seen the articles regarding the explanation of the natal chart of Mr Rajiv Gandhi the ex prime minister of India In my articles I had explained the astrological reasons of how Rajiv Gandhi became the prime minister of India and why he gained such a popularity in India I had definitely written in Malay Malar or in my articles Jodidam Innum Deva Ragasiyam. Many people have not read these articles. Well, let me display the natal chart of Bhagwan Osho and let us see whether the planets are Subhatwa or Pabhatwa in his natal chart. Bhagwan Osho was born on 11-12-1931 that is 11th of December 1931. and he was actually born at 5:15 pm in the evening he was born at kashwada a small town in madhya pradesh this is the natal chart of bhagwan osho 
Kannadasan's question is all about how Bhagwan Osho became a spiritual leader, a leader who was followed by many across the world, not just in India, while Sagittarius was highly Pabatva in his natal chart. Bhagwan Osho was a spiritual leader who was perceived badly by the people during his period while he was living. I am going to explain this natal chart by applying my concepts of Subhatva and Pabhatva. Even this follower has misunderstood the concept of Subhatva and Pabhatva and has asked this question. I will definitely clarify the doubts of Mr. Kannadasan. I often reiterate in my videos that my concepts of Subhatva, Pabhatva and Sukshma strength will be talked about more after my period, which will be definitely researched by many people and it will open up a new dimension in Vedic astrology. In a similar fashion, the philosophy of Bhagavan Osho was misunderstood by many people while he was living, but people gradually understood his philosophy post his death. Nobody can deny that he is a super spiritual master who gained fame across the world, but many people misunderstood his philosophy and his book, which was titled as Sex to Super Consciousness. It was very badly criticized. He was even criticized as a spiritual master who was after the pleasures of women. But the situation has totally changed now. This is the truth indeed. Today, Bhagwan Osho's teachings were understood by the people. Bhagwan Osho was a spiritual master who was completely misunderstood by the people while he was living. Even he has mentioned in his speech that his book were nothing but the collection of speeches and one particular book was criticized constantly by the people, though many books were published after it. His philosophies cannot be easily understood by the people and it really needs great wisdom first of all to understand his books, his philosophy. Now I am going to give an astrological explanation of how Bhagavan Osho became a great spiritual master who was renowned across the world for his teachings. It is really good that he asked such a question. I mean, Mr. Kannadasan. It fueled my interest to explain the natal chart of Bhagavan Osho. I know that my concepts of Subhatva, Pabhatva and Sukshma Shrimp are 100% valid and proven rules after 40 years of research in astrology. I have many times mentioned that a planet which is highly Subhatva will set the profession to a person and the natal will be inclined towards the Karaka of the planet which is the most Subhatva planet in the natal chart. A universally accepted rule cannot go invalid in one particular chart. A universal rule should apply 100% valid in all the charts. Therefore, it is not possible that my concept of Subhatva go wrong exceptionally in the natal chart of Bhagavan Osho. It should be definitely valid. What I wanted to know is whether the natal chart, the birth timings of Bhagavan Osho is correct or not or my rule is exceptional by analyzing this particular chart. Because to such an extent I believe in my concepts and my prediction skill. As many people misunderstood the philosophy of Bhagavan Osho, Mr. Kannadasan has also misunderstood my concept of Subhatva. Bhagavan Osho was such a great wise man who was misunderstood by the people while he was living. He was a great philosopher. He actually demonstrated where the goddess, 
His book was something totally misunderstood by the people. Indeed, now his books are the best-selling books and his books are read even by many more people and there is an awareness about his philosophy and people are trying to understand his philosophy. Definitely, people's perception of Osho's book has changed. Even in my videos, when I discuss the earthly pleasures and the heavenly pleasures, I cannot avoid quoting certain phrases from the books of Osho. He stood as an example for the title given to him, Bhagavan. He was such an exemplary spiritual master. Indeed, I call him a great revolutionist in the spiritual world who lived in the century. He believed in godliness and denied the existence of God. He was like Periyar, a Tamil atheist. Bhagavan Osho denied certain things and he preached certain things. It is we who misunderstood him completely and we criticized him badly while he was living. I hope you all see the natal chart of Bhagwan Osho. I have already mentioned the birth date, birth time and place of birth of Bhagwan Osho. Mr. Kannadasan has raised a question that how Osho became such a great spiritual master and how he became a person who was followed by millions of people around the world while Sagittarius house was highly Pabatwa in his natal chart. Bhagwan Osho is a native of Taurus Ascendant. Jupiter is exalted in third house in Cancer. Sun resides in seventh house Scorpio. There are five planets in the eighth house, Sagittarius, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars and Saturn. In the eleventh house, that is Pisces, Rahu resides. And in 5th house in Virgo, Ketu resides. I have mentioned in many of my videos that when Jupiter has great strength, for example, when it is exalted and it is in connection with all the planets, a person will definitely reach supreme status in life. A natural benefit Jupiter will definitely tell you whether the person is truly spiritual or not in their life. The natal chart of a person will definitely say whether Bhagavan Osho or anybody who claims themselves as God-man is really leading such a life, is really such an avatar. The two great significant planets which are the reasons for the spiritualism are Jupiter and Saturn. I have already explained in my videos how a person can be truly spiritual with certain expectations and on the other hand with no expectations in life. Jupiter will make a person to be truly spiritual without expecting any benefits in their life. Saturn will deliver spiritualism where it will make the native to expect benefits or the native will have expectations in their life. I have written about these in my article Jodhiram Innum Deva Ragasiyam that Jupiter makes a person spiritual who does not have expectations in life. I have also mentioned these books in my book. K2 will act like a bridge joining these two planets. When Jupiter and Saturn get connected with the Ascendant Lord or Ascendant House or Rashi, a person will have higher spiritual thoughts and definitely they will be very, very spiritual, truly spiritual. I have also reiterated this point in my videos that it is quite rare to find a natal chart where Jupiter with good strength connects all the other planets in a natal chart. I am an astrologer explaining astrology in a completely different dimension based on the concepts of light energy.
I really have no idea whether any Tamil astrologer has explained so far the natal chart of Bhagwan Osho. I'm going to explain the natal chart of Bhagwan Osho with my concepts of Subhatva, Pabhatva and Sukshma strength. Well, I'm going to explain the natal chart of Bhagwan Osho and those who follow me very well know that three planets are responsible for true spiritualism which are Jupiter, Saturn and Ketu. Even recently these three planets were in conjunction such as Jupiter, Ketu and Saturn in Sagittarius. Mm, it might be 2019 or 2020. I believe it is December 2019 where three planets Saturn, Jupiter and Ketu were in conjunction in Sagittarius. The conjunction of Jupiter, Saturn and Ketu happened in Sagittarius. I mentioned this particular event in my video that a child somewhere in the world would have been definitely been born which will become a great spiritual leader in future. Definitely in 30 or 40 years we will come to know about such a guru. In December 2019, three planets such as Jupiter, Ketu and Saturn were in conjunction in the house of Sagittarius. I told whichever religion it is, when a child was born with such a conjunction in the natal chart, which is also connected with the ascendant or Rashi, or both will definitely become a great Jagat Guru in the world in future. Bhagavan Osho was also born with such a setting in his natal chart. This is the natal chart which stands as an example to prove the concepts of Vedic astrology. A person who was living such a spiritual life will definitely have the connection of Jupiter and Saturn with the Ascendant Lord or Ascendant House or with Rashi. And I've also said that Ketu will just act like a brush between these two planets such as Jupiter and Saturn. As I already mentioned, Jupiter will make a person spiritual without any expectations in life. These people are born purely to help other people to attain wisdom. Saturn is a planet which will have certain expectations like attaining Siddhis, supernatural powers, etc. In a natal chart, if Jupiter is strong and connected with the Ascendant Lord or Ascendant House or Rashi, definitely their prayers will be as follows. Dear God, please bless everybody. Dear Almighty, please make all the people to live a good life. Definitely Jupiter will make a person to pray like this. If Saturn is very strong in the natal chart, the natal will plead to God as follows. God, please give a good life to me. I have to make these people realize themselves. Please bless me with supernatural powers so that I can help these people. This is what I categorized as spiritualism with expectations and without expectations. The Saturn connection does not make a person selfless. There are many saints who chant mantras in order to attain Siddhis which are magical powers or supernatural powers. There are many people who want to become Siddhas. They want to attain something in their life. This character will be delivered by Saturn. Jupiter will make a person who does not even expect anything even for themselves and they stay truly spiritual and they always pray to God for the welfare of others. They don't even pray for their own well-being. I have written about these in my articles Jodhidam Ennum Devaragasiyam. I have already explained the natal chart of Mahaperyava briefly in one of my videos. I have explained in detailed manner the connection of Jupiter, Saturn and Ketu in the natal chart of Mahaperyava. 
Maha Periwa lived as a Jagat Guru and he was a representative of a religion and he lived such a disciplined life. He lived as an exemplary spiritual leader who represented his religion. On the other hand, Bhagwan Osho was a spiritual leader who created his own religion. He created his own philosophy and he also created a new religion. Definitely the planetary combination for these two people have to differ. The great Kanchi Matadipadi Jagat Guru Shankaracharya Mahapiryava lived as a walking god and I had explained the connection of Jupiter, Ketu and Saturn in the natal chart of Jagat Guru Shankaracharya. In his natal chart Jupiter was aspecting Saturn and Ketu. This is another example of a spiritual leader where there is connection between Jupiter and Saturn. Bhagwan Osho is a native of Taurus Ascendant and there are five planets in the 8th house to the Ascendant which signifies the ability of the native to explore the hidden Shastras and the secrets of the cosmos. Let us come to the point first of all. It is very rare when Jupiter is in connection with all the planets in a natal chart. Here Jupiter is exalted and it has great strength. There are five planets in the house whose dispositor is exalted Jupiter. The five planets are Moon, Venus, Mercury, Mars and Saturn. These five planets reside in Sagittarius whose dispositor Jupiter is exalted. And moreover, Moon and Jupiter are in Parivartan and the planet Sun is aspected by Jupiter. The exalted Jupiter aspects Sun by its fifth aspect and Rahu by the ninth aspect in his natal chart. In a certain way, Jupiter gets connected to all the planets in this natal chart. Jupiter cannot be in connection with all the eight planets in a natal chart. It is not possible at all because Rahu and Ketu are at the opposite poles of an axis. Having said this, most of the planets in this natal chart have connection with exalted Jupiter. This is one of the most significant astrological planetary combination in the natal chart of Bhagwan Osho. The spiritual planet Jupiter gets connected to all the planets in the natal chart of Bhagwan Osho. Jupiter aspects both Sun and Rahu and in the house of exalted Jupiter, five planets reside. Since Moon and Jupiter are in Parivartan, Jupiter in a way is in conjunction with Mercury, Venus, Mars and Saturn. Mr. Kannadasan, my YouTube follower, did not understand my concepts of Subhatva and Pabhatva. This is the reason he mentioned in his comment that Sagittarius was highly Pabhatva in the natal chart of Osho. I have recently published a video regarding the house of Sagittarius. I explained in my video how significant, how supreme, the house of Sagittarius is. Bhagwan Osho is also a supreme spiritual leader. He is native of Taurus Ascendant and Sagittarius Rashi. Just observe how the planetary position is which helped him to become an avatar. Here there is no Pabhatva in Sagittarius. Saturn resides in the house of Jupiter which is exalted and it has become Subhatva. Based on this natal chart, Saturn is a planet which is the most Subhatva planet. In the house of Sagittarius, which is the house of Jupiter, Saturn is in conjunction with Venus and therefore it is highly Subhatva in this natal chart. This is the reason an avatar like Osho was born. This is another perfect example to prove my concepts of Subhatva and Pabhatva. And you all know that he has travelled abroad 
and only during dasha of rahu he went abroad mr rajneesh became osho only during the dasha of rahu since the commencement of rahu dasha he was criticized by many people his philosophy became famous he returned during jupiter dasha and he fulfilled his avatar towards the end of jupiter dasha the major planetary period of jupiter started in 1979 he was in usa at that time he returned to india around 1985 or 1986 the minor planetary period of ketu started in 1986 and he returned to india He returned to India during the major planetary period of Jupiter and minor planetary period of Ketu. My concepts of Subhatva and Parvatva apply valid in this natal chart. I often reiterate a point that if only the 8th house and 12th house in a natal chart or Subhatva they can permanently stay abroad. Those who follow me know this rule very well. having said this in the natal chart of bhagwan osho the 12th house is not much subhatva and this is the reason he could not settle abroad and he returned to india this is the reason he returned to india his motherland though he went abroad and stayed for few years those who follow me for a long time can definitely realize that my concepts of subhatva pabhatva and sukshma strength apply 100% in the natal chart of mr rajneesh bhagwan osho it is really obvious in his natal chart in his natal chart jupiter is exalted you would have definitely noticed in my videos that i have given lot of importance to the strength of the dispositor that is lord of the house in the natal chart of osho saturn which is a spiritual planet resides in the house of a planet which is also a spiritual planet jupiter and it is moreover exalted in the natal chart the sagittarius is extremely subhatva it is at this point mr kannadasan misunderstood the concept and he considered or he assumed sagittarius to be highly pabhatva the reason why he considered sagittarius as pabhatva is the presence of the planets such as mars and saturn because mars and saturn are two natural malefics in addition to these two planets there are three benefic planets in sagittarius such as venus moon and mercury these natural benefics made the sagittarius subhatva and more significantly the dispositor of the sagittarius which is jupiter gets exalted in cancer and in addition to this it is also in parivartan and indirectly reaches sagittarius again and since it is 8th house mr rajneesh became an ascetic he became osho a great philosopher the 8th house plays a significant role in making a person an ascetic if a person is living an ascetic life definitely the 8th and 12th houses or the reason in his natal chart the 12th house lord which is mars is subhatva and 8th house lord which is jupiter is exalted the 8th and 12th houses are very important for a person to become an ascetic because only these people can make renunciation which is very important for becoming an ascetic the 12th house plays a very significant role in helping a person become an ascetic in the natal chart of bhagwan osho the 12th house lord is residing in the house of jupiter and it has also got subhatva the most significant planetary combination to become a spiritual person is the connection of jupiter saturn ketu with the ascendant or ascendant lord or rashi according to the natal chart of bhagwan osho 
the lord of the 12th house which is mars is residing in mola nakshatra whose star lord is ketu it is very auspicious when mars resides in the star of ketu and ketu is residing in the house of mercury by all means my concept of subhatva or proven here sagittarius which is the 8th house to the ascendant which signifies the renunciation has become subhatva which signifies exploring the hidden shastras the house which signifies the deep wisdom whose dispositor jupiter is exalted and there are three natural benefits residing in the house of sagittarius this has overwhelmed the presence of mars and saturn the two natural malefics in sagittarius and more importantly saturn which is at another spiritual planet resides in the 8th house in the house of jupiter whose dispositor is exalted this clearly says that bhagavan osho is an avatar purusha during mars dasha he was inclined towards spiritualism and the major planetary period of rahu and jupiter helped him to become a spiritual leader once the rahu dasha started he was in search of finding the truth to attain wisdom and he was working as a professor he was a preacher of spiritualism and then he created his own path and he started preaching the philosophies of the path he created having said all these in the natal chart of bhagwan osho we can definitely find that my concepts of subhatva pabatva and sukshma strength apply valid we can definitely realize this the natal chart is not an example of bhava subhatva rather whereas this natal chart stands as a perfect example for subhatva of karaka sagittarius is a house of spiritualism the next significant house is pisces but sagittarius is the most significant house which signifies spiritualism which indicates the spiritual level of a person the sagittarius house will definitely tell you whether a great spiritual avatar will be born or not i have written in my article regarding the planetary conjunction that happened in 2019 i wrote the article before one and a half year there was conjunction of three spiritual planets such as jupiter saturn and ketu in sagittarius and definitely a child born during that time will become an avatar the child must be definitely one year old now you will definitely see a great spiritual leader after 30 years who was born actually in 2019 the child would belong to any religion in the world the child would have been born in any part of the world i have written regarding this child in an article in malay malar this great conjunction happened in december 2019 where the planets which signify spiritualism were in conjunction in sagittarius such as jupiter ketu and saturn In the same fashion Bhagavan Osho was born before 90 years. Here there is no trace of Pabatva in the natal chart. The follower who gave the comment has misunderstood the concepts of Subhatva and Pabatva. Sagittarius has become more Subhatva in this natal chart. The very first point to note here is the lord of sagittarius is exalted in the natal chart this is like first level of subhatva the natural benefits such as venus waxing moon and mercury made the other two planets mars and saturn subhatva and thus letting him incline towards spiritualism the natal chart really proves my concept of subhatva and pabatva Bhagavan Osho fulfilled his avatar during Jupiter dasha. The proverb man proposes god disposes 
what is predestined by the Almighty is going to happen. This is the truth. There is nothing in the hands of human beings. His Saturn Dasha actually started from 1995. In any case, if he was live during Saturn Dasha, the philosophy he created, the path he created, the religion he created would have been definitely adapted by the whole world and everybody in the world will have followed him. People around the world know why Osho was in a position to abandon his stay in America and why he was poisoned. Because with his philosophy, he shook the grounds of the faith in a particular religion in America. This is the reason Osho was forced indirectly to leave America. These are the facts that everybody knows and accepted by everybody. We really don't know the plan of the Almighty. Only the Almighty knows it. The Almighty knows the reason for every event that happens in the world. The avatar of Osho was fulfilled in 1990. In case if Almighty had allowed Bhagwan Osho to live during Saturn Dasha, the religion of Osho will have definitely become the religion of the world. And the world would have definitely followed him. His religion would have definitely overwhelmed all the other religions in the world. But the plan of Almighty was different. This is what we can predict through Vedic astrology. If he was alive during Saturn Dasha, he would have been accepted as the head of the one and only religion across the world. But Almighty had a different plan and his avatar was fulfilled four years before the commencement of Saturn Dasha. This is the truth. Those are, who are in spiritualism, those who know the concepts of Subhatva and Pabhatva, which is another dimension of Vedic astrology, will definitely understand what I come to say. Definitely one who gave the comment, who assumed Sagittarius as highly Pabhatva in the natal chart, will have definitely understood by seeing this video that Sagittarius is not Pabhatva in the natal chart of Mr. Osho. Here the exalted Jupiter, which is a spiritual planet, the Lord of Sagittarius house is in connection with most of the planets in the natal chart. Because five planets reside in the house of Sagittarius. I often reiterate a point how much light energy the natal chart of an avatar purusha must have. Because the very basic fundamental concept of Subhatva is the light energy. I often reiterate a point that all the planets should have light energy. I hope you understand how this light energy, how this Subhatva worked in the natal chart of Bhagavan Osho. Like many people misunderstood Osho during his period, my concept of Subhatva and Pabhatva was also misunderstood by Mr. Kannadasan who made his comment regarding the Pabhatva of Sagittarius in the natal chart of Bhagwan Osho. Those who have understood the fundamentals of Vedic astrology can definitely understand my concepts of Subhatva and Pabhatva. I have already given a golden rule that the most Subhatva planet will drive a person to incline towards a profession related to Karaka of the Subhatva planet. This applies definitely in all the natal charts without exceptions. Correct? I had given such a golden rule to my followers. My concepts, my rules never fail. My concepts of Subhatva, Pabhatva and Sukshma strength will apply in all the natal charts, 100 person, without any exceptions. Greetings to everybody. Well, keep writing your feedback to astro.writeus at gmail.com. Thank you.